Hey guys, what's up? Take a look. So, just picked this up on Amazon. It's a ISDT a lithium ion NICAD nickel metal hydrate charger. It's sort of like a hobbyist for like RC charger, but I'm not going to be using it for RC. Um, I got a bunch of, uh, I've been saving my old batteries, my old uh, lithium ion batteries, like for my old broken cell phones, old camera, um, an old laptop battery. And this is an old tablet battery I want to use. So I want to start uh, reusing these batteries for different little projects, like uh, some of my Raspberry Pi projects I'm working on, which I'll make a future video about. But this thing was actually wasn't cheap. It wasn't the cheapest one on the um, Amazon. It's I just liked it because, because it was small and it was color color touch screen. So pretty cool. I'll show you that. Yeah, basically it comes from, from virtually nothing. So, a couple of stickers. I don't know if it even came with a manual. Okay, it's a basic, basic manual here. But, uh, I also got some connectors. Because this thing actually requires, like, an uh, input. There's not, a, there's not a direct AC input for this thing. So I'm actually going to have to bring in 12 volt from one of my uh, power supplies up there. Um, I have a few of those, so that's not a problem. Or I could actually just repurpose uh, an AC adapter. All right, so you have your little connectors here, charging connectors. All right, so we'll get it going. So I'm gonna probably try to find, solder some leads on one of these uh, batteries here, and we'll uh, try to get it charging. So I'm gonna try try this one first, my old LG phone battery. It was funny that I, I know I threw a couple laptops away. I didn't keep all my batteries. So I kind of wish I would have started thinking about that earlier. So, all right. Alright, so I got some cables soldered up here. So I got one cable, XT60 female to alligator clip. So I'm going to use this lead to clip onto the batteries. You know, uh, things like that. Clip onto the batteries to charge them. Then I created a little power cable here. XT female with uh, banana and banana clips. So I'm going to plug this right into my power supply here. I have a 12 volt power supply. I'm not going to use a variable. One below it. So I haven't even fired this up yet, so I don't know what's going to happen here. It's on the input. Alright, here goes nothing. Yeah, I, didn't think I, I purposely didn't take the plastic off in case I had to send it back. Alright. Alright, let's... All right, battery not connected. All right, that's good. Let's see here. Like I said, I've never even used this. Even the manual's kind of not very good. I mean, the one I've seen online. So, hopefully you can see that. All right, I'm gonna get a battery connected. All right, let me show you the functions of this battery charger. It's pretty cool. Right now I had a NICAD mode, which is trying to recover the battery, but yeah, it has this little flip wheel. Let's go back and forth. Back to LiPo. You can do the battery voltage. Default is 4.20 cell count. Right, I'm just doing one cell. Current is the uh, milliamp. Okay. Um, start, and then you can, like I said, you can change the different cell technologies here. Yeah, I do actually have some other things I gotta charge, some uh, old Nikot batteries. And then you can also uh, discharge and charge. Actually, I'm gonna switch this back to LiPo. And then you have more options. You can do storage, discharge, and charge. So 42 bucks, not bad. Pretty cool charger, you know? Like, I'm gonna be doing some battery covering in a, in a future video, like my, one of my Makita batteries here. And. One of my, a couple of my DeWalt batteries. But yeah, let me crack in a, open a battery. Uh, this is a old laptop battery, which is kind of cool. It actually has like the battery meter in it. It's almost pretty dead, so. I'm going to see if I can uh, salvage the cells. So I'm going to break this open and uh, see what I can do. All right, so there it's cracked open. And uh, those are those LEDs right there and the push button right there. But obviously it looks like it's balanced. It has the small leads on it. Alright. 
I think it's your old 1865 batteries, or 18650, this style of battery. And this is definitely an old laptop. This laptop is probably, at least the, the battery this laptop came from is probably at least ten, over 10 years old. It was like an old, like, uh, Pentium 4 or something, I don't know, it was old, really old, so. Uh, Alright, so I do actually have this thing. Um, I think there's something wrong with these back two cells here. But so I, I connected the uh, to the positive lever and to the uh, balancing port, and we'll see what happens. Uh, because it's parallel, I think it's one cell. Yes. All right. All right. So we're pulling out about 41 milliamps now, and uh, pretty cool. So it's going and. I like the color display. That's actually the main reason why I got it. It just was easier to read. Versus like one of those uh, SkyRC, the, uh, they call the 8BAC, I can't remember the name of them, but 6BAC, I think. Um, but yeah, it is charging 54%. It was started at 53%. Uh, cool charger. I mean, it's 42 bucks. Wasn't that bad. So, got lots of experiments to do here. So, batteries, tablet batteries, little, I'm going to try to pass uh, uh, power a Raspberry Pi with one of these things, so like a double cell. But cool charger, man, awesome.